Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to remove your uh, MK5 or uh, RS32 or this probably applied to uh, Jetta and Passat. This one is the 2008 Volkswagen uh, Rapid and this is the two door. So first of all, you need to remove the spare tire uh, cover and then the styrofoam left and then the right hand side you need to remove the right hand side first and then the left side by the way I re removed the spare tire as well so first of all you need to pry, pry out this thing open since I did uh, mine already this is what it was it look like you pry this uh, out and then there's a T20 uh, screw in there. And uh, if you move over here, there's another uh, hidden uh, plastic panel right here you need to remove. Just uh, pry out with your pine tool. It's pretty easy to come out. Okay, this is a silver screw that's on the outside. There's another one that is hidden inside. So I had to use a magnetic telescope while well, I try to use a ratchet, uh, that's a T20 as well, to remove it. Unless you have a magnetic uh, Torx uh, screwdriver, I had to purchase that one. Uh, so I could try to remove the one that's uh, up here, okay? Because you need to remove the one up here to uh, when well, you need to pop out this uh, airbag plastic first. I'll show you on the other side. See, I pop out this uh, plastic cover right here. That's what it look like on the back. And there's another hidden T20 in there it's all the way in there so unfortunately the bit will not allow me to go in so i ordered a set on ebay so it should come soon so so yeah after you pry this out i mean after you remove the screw and then the silver in here and then the black one in there you need to pull this out straight, pull out straight, okay? And then after that, there's another one on the bottom here. Yank it out. Once you get it loose, you need to tilt in an angle like this in order to get it out. Because uh, this two tab, it's kind of weird in the angle like that to in order to go in, okay? And then you need to pop up this uh, metal plastic trim right here. I had to use a prime tool to get it out. And after I yank it out, there's like a metal clips. Uh, there's one missing right there. Got stuck right here. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those uh, metal clips. Then you get it out. And then after that, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. And you need to remove that. You know to, uh, you know to pry this downward. And uh, this one uh, outward, after you unscrew that, you see the tab right here? You need to shift it, this panel upward after you get this uh, two point uh, loose, okay? Oh, it's not gonna come out. The reason we need to get this uh, panel out because the seat belt, there's a bolt. You gotta get it from the top, okay? Oh, uh, loose enough on the top section right there. Mm 
That that's if you need to remove the seat belt. That's this one right here, okay? All right. So that's to remove the left and then the right hand side seat belt. That's why you need to go through the step to remove all those uh, left and right uh, plastic panel and then the upper one for the ABS, I mean for the airbag. And for the back seat, you need to uh, remove this uh, cover. You gotta pry this uh, out uh, with the both hand to uh, get it open because there's a clip right here in the midsection right here. And after that, there's a, a, a Torx uh, screw in here that you need to loosen up so you can separate this section. And uh, right here is for the back seat and also for the seat belt. There's one here and then another one right there. I just go from the bottom and try to yank that one side, the other side, that's it, okay? There you go. And that's a T27, okay? So yeah, this is a magnet uh, telescope I was talking to you about, okay? Magnet. Well, I try to unscrew it and get it out. On those uh, panel right there, I mean on this uh, panel right here. So I don't lose uh, the boat. Oh. Alright, make sure you don't lose the boat. Okay. I get this clamp out of there. <sighs> Try to follow seat back. <sighs> All right, there's a clamp right here. Make sure you don't lose that either. And now it can become loose, okay? And now I can move it to the right and then get it out. And then there you go, okay? So you gotta move this side, tilt it in an angle like that. Or else this foam is gonna get stuck, okay? Now we're gonna do it on the 60 split side. So I just uh, lift it up. Make sure the fabric doesn't touch this metal piece. You wanna do it both hand. But I'm trying to do one hand so I can show you guys on how to get it out. And just pull out straight. Yeah, I might wanna do it both hand. I don't wanna mess up this fabric, so. There you go, okay? You just pull out or kind of twist it back and forth and then now it's out. So now the seat belt is attached to this. Okay. Need to loosen it up. That's the seat belt that goes to the front right here. And then that's a T50. Okay, Torx 50. So this two, there's a clip right here. It's also holding down this uh, back seat. The cushion right here on the bottom. If we don't move it, it's not gonna come out. It, it seems that I need to use this uh, 8 millimeter hex or the Allen key because uh, when I try to use the Torx, it fit, it's, like, it's like not catching correctly. So this one fit more uh, better. 
See, there's no play at all. Versus uh, this one. It's a little play. All right, so I'm not gonna use a half inch. I'm gonna use a three A ratchet. It's, I get more out of leverage, okay? Yeah, unfortunately, when I try to hammer it out, break it loose, it seems like it's gonna strip the screw of the bolt, uh, so I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, I need to get the right uh, size uh, bit for that. Cause uh, this is the Torx, but somehow that one is more like a, more teeth. So yeah, I don't want to strip it. And uh, they use a special tool from the manufacturer to do the torque spec uh, specification, so it's very tight. But anyway, we're gonna move to the bench on how to remove the bench. So in order to move the bench, all you need to do is just uh, lift this uh, up, left, and then right hand side, okay? So once you lift this up, it's not gonna go up. You need to push the bench backward and then lift it up. Back and then lift it up. Now it's up. If you don't do that, it's just not gonna go up. So push back and then lift outward. Okay, there's a special clip on the bottom. Let me show you. So there's a uh, that special uh, T hook right there. If you don't uh, push backward, it's not gonna come out. And then there's another uh, special screw right there for the seat belt on the bottom on this side. And then another one right here on the left hand side. There's a T hook, and then another special screw. Of the boat. For that seat belt right there. And this is the hook for the front. And then another one right here on this side. And if you lift up the carpet, this is where your uh, fuel filter is at, okay? In case uh, your fuel filter is bad, that's how you need to uh, replace it and stuff, so. There's a winding harness over there for your fuel gauge. Well, unfortunately, I cannot show you the tutorial on how to remove those uh, bolt for the seat belts. So, so uh, this one is the M10 uh, for the back seat and uh, also for the seat belt. There's another one right here for the seat belt. the same size yeah you want to make sure it's sit down all the way inside before we turn it yeah so I did use uh, both hands and push down and then kind of hit it hard now it's loosened So lucky I didn't uh, strip it uh, on this uh, boat. 
The last time I tried to use uh, Allen key and then uh, Torx, and then I stopped. Pretty uh, long uh, bolt. So you gotta remove the the bottom portion of the seat. And then for the door jam right here, this is the M8. So yeah, without this bit, you're not gonna remove it. And uh, for the driver's driver's seat and then the passenger seat, this one is probably M10. Yep. So this is the M10. Right there. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any comments down below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.